Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, ruler is not the only way to measure or compare lengths. There are many different ways to compare lengths. So let us look at some common ways. The first common way would be observation. So even without a ruler or without any other thing, just by looking at the line segments, you can say which is uh, longer and which is shorter. For example, if you have these two line segments. So even if I do not give a ruler, you can very clearly see that this one is longer. So that's quite evident. So just by observation, we could say this. But there is a problem with observation. Can you tell me what? Now, here in this case, in this example, the two lines, they are like, there is a huge difference between their lengths. So just by looking at it, we could easily say which is shorter and which is longer. But if you have two line segments, which are comparable in length, like these two. Now, now if I ask you to just observe and tell which is longer, it might be a little challenging because just by looking at it, you might not be able to decide which one is longer. So in this kind of scenario, you might need to, uh, um, you know, take the second approach and the second approach is to use a ruler like what we did in the previous slide. So how will the ruler help? So here, even if you have two comparable line segments, using the ruler, you can precisely look at its length. So for example, here the length is approximately 10 centimeters. In the second case, the length is slightly more than 11 centimeters. So but with this measurement, you can say that the length of this line segment is more than the first one. So this is perfectly fine. So the ruler seems to be more accurate, more precise and more convenient to use as well. But there is an issue involved with ruler as well. And that, that is called uh, the positioning error. Now, what is this positioning error? Now, whenever we make measurements using a ruler, we need to ensure that our eye is placed exactly vertically above the mark for which we are doing the observation that is this so to get a correct measure the eye must be placed just vertically above the mark so let's look at this picture let's say that this is an object which need whose length needs to be measured and this is your ruler so if you are measuring the length of this object so if you are taking the reading at this point your eye should be placed exactly vertically above this point you should not look at it from an angular position because the moment you look at it from this position you do not actually see this point instead you read it somewhere here similarly when you look at it from here you read it somewhere here so you end up reading inaccurate values so therefore to avoid errors happening due to angular viewing it is very important that the eye must be positioned exactly vertically above the mark where you are taking the reading so this is one uh, this is one problem that could arise while taking readings with a ruler. However, this can be avoided if you place your eye exactly above the mark. But do you think that there is any other option of um, using something else other than the ruler? Yes, there is. You can even compare lengths using a divider. I'm sure you would have seen a divider in your geometry box. This is how it looks. It has two pointed ends like this and you can like these two arms of the divider are flexible so you can open them you can close them so you open them so when you open them it gets widened when you close them it gets narrow so let's say that these are the three line segments given to you the pink the green and the blue one now you have to compare their lengths now instead of using a ruler what you do is you 
adjust the opening of the divider in such a way that the two ends of the divider are at the two end points of the line segment. So in that way, you basically uh, get the length of the line segment in the opening of the divider. Now retain the same opening of the divider. Do not alter it. So take the same divider, retain the same opening and place it on the second line segment. And what do you see? You see that the second line segment is slightly more than the opening of the divider which shows that the length of the second line segment is more because in this case the divider the opening of the divider is smaller now if you place the same divider in the third line segment here you see that the opening of the divider could cover almost half of the line segment so the remaining half of it was not covered that means the blue line segment is even longer than the green one so in this fashion using a divider also you can compare lengths of multiple line segments and in this case the chances of positioning error is less that's because here you are not reading any value as such so you just need to make sure that the two ends of the divider overlap with the two ends of the line segment and that's how you can get an idea about the length of that line segment. Now you might ask that okay if I am using divider even though I get an idea about uh, which line segment is longer and which one is shorter what if I want to know the exact length of the line segment for example in this case we got to know that the blue one is the longest and the pink one is the shortest but if I want to know the exact length of the pink line segment then what do I do so in that case what you need to do is first you take the length of the line segment in the opening of the divider which you have already done like you place the two ends of the divider on the two ends of the line segments that means the opening of your divider now tells you the length of the line segment now you take a ruler place it and place the divider above that ruler in such a way that one end of the divider coincides with the zero of the scale that is it coincides with the beginning starting point of the scale and then So observe the reading carefully and this is how you can precisely find out the exact length. So using the divider you set the opening of the divider in accordance with the length of the line segment then place the divider over a ruler and find out the exact length. So in this way we can make use of a divider to compare lengths. So you saw three different options observation, ruler and divider. So out of this, you would feel that using a divider is a better approach because the chances of error is less here. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.